Look, 12 years, 12 years is how long it took me to finally make a transformation in my mind, to finally unlock my mind, to unfuck my mind. It took 12 whole years of mental slavery to finally be able to say, I am mentally free. And the truth is, in this day and age, most men are in mental slavery because they don't even understand how their mind works. So this video is going to help you understand how your mind works. I did a lot of research on this. I've been looking into it because I've been trying to figure out why is it that my mind keeps sabotaging me to do all of the wrong things, to get all of the wrong results throughout life. And it comes down to two things, your conscious mind and your subconscious mind. You've probably heard of this before, but let's get deeper into it, right? Your subconscious mind is basically the front screen. It's basically the, the, the command system. It's what you see. It's what you start to think about in your waking moments, what you consciously think about, what you put in the actual mental effort to start to think about. That's your conscious mind, right? What you perceive, what you see, conscious mind. Your subconscious mind, that's what runs in the background. That's the programming. Think of your mind as a huge computer, right? The screen is the, the conscious mind. The programming, the software that runs on that computer is your subconscious mind. So every single time that you have these negative actions that you take, life doesn't really do the things that you want life to do for you, as in open up new doors for you, make more money in life. All of these things are happening because of your subconscious programming, which I know you already know. And if you don't, I'm glad you're watching this video. If you already know, this is just going to be a reminder for you. You have to start focusing on the subconscious mind. We all focus on the conscious mind, but we don't understand all of the different phrases that we've said for decades in our lives, right? Literally, it took me 12 years, 12 years of negative programming of my subconscious mind, always self-sabotaging, always getting me out of really good opportunities right before there was the fruit to the labor that I put in, right? always getting right back to a financial threshold because for some reason, every single time I want to break out, I go right back to that financial level that I stayed consistent with over the last 12 years. Why? I've experienced the highs of the highs and the lows of the lows. And I've always hit this nice middle point every single time. Have I had six figures in the bank before? Yes. Have I had negative balance in the bank before? Yes. I've always fluctuated. I've never just kept going up because there was something in my subconscious mind that was programming me to always go back to what I've been programming it to have. So what the first thing you have to understand to program your to reprogram your subconscious mind is understand what are the things that I'm actually saying to myself without me even thinking about it. What are the thoughts that are running through my head on a regular basis? We walk around and we're literally garbage cans because all we do is we have all these negative thoughts that have been bundled up and they're basically running the programming to give us negative results in life. This is what, what happens as men, right? We can't attract, we, you always attract women who genuinely are bad for you. The reason for that is because your subconscious mind is, pro, is literally attracting those people. It's, it's moving you towards those people. It's putting you in environments to find those people that you consistently think about through your garbage thoughts that you have in your head. Probably programmed from music, probably programmed from social programming such as the news, probably programmed from, from influ garbage influencers that are just giving you bad advice, probably programmed from your parents, probably programmed from other experiences that you've had in your life. All of these things that are going on are programming your subconscious mind to start to attract all of the wrong things that you don't consciously want. Right. So in your conscious time and you're in your in, in when you actually go into meditation, I know a lot of people, they hesitate on meditation. They don't think it works. I promise you meditation works. It changed my life. Right. Start to meditate and just start to analyze your thoughts. They call it meta thinking. When you think about your own thoughts, start to analyze your thoughts, start to see that don't don't be biased. Don't go in there with with any type of intention whatsoever. Just go into it and allow your thoughts to run and be completely silent. Focus on your breath, but allow your thoughts to just run. You will literally start to see all of the negative things that you're telling yourself, all of the I can't statements that you tell yourself, all of the I shouldn't statements that you tell yourself, all of the I don't think statements that you tell yourself, all of the doubt, all of the fear, all of these things are constantly programming in your mind. 
And there's something called the reticular activating system, right? Go look this up when you have free time, right? The reticular activating system basically is what you think about is what you start to see patterns of in your real life. So if I had you think gray and I kept saying gray, 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 you would start to see way more gray around you and you would start to pay attention to it more because your subconscious mind has programmed your reticular activative system, reticular meaning your eyes, to be able to see those patterns. So if you're constantly telling yourself, ah, I can't make money. money, money's hard. It's hard to make money out here. It's the worst thing in the world. If you're constantly telling your mind that, what's gonna happen? You're only going to be attracted. You're only going to be around things that are never gonna make you money. Things that are actually going to take money from you because all you're signaling to your sub, because here's the thing, your subconscious mind is your slave in a good way. It is there to literally do whatever it is that you command it to do. If you consistently and, and, and effortlessly just keep punching into your head that you want this and you're gonna and you're this, you're that, and, and you're empowering it, it is going to bend to your will and give you everything that you want. And you might be thinking, well, why doesn't everybody do that? Because people aren't aware of themselves. People don't take the time to finally start to be aware of what their thoughts are. Have you ever been around people, or maybe you've done this yourself? Where all you do is you, you, you start to just look around and you're just like, man, I suck. Do you realize what you're training your subconscious mind to think? You're not good. So what's going to happen? It's going to make sure, because it's programmed that way, to make sure that all of your conscious actions show you what you've been asking for, that you're not good. Every word that comes out of your mouth is a command to your subconscious mind. Every single word that you say, oh, I don't have any money. Well, your subconscious mind registers that, boom. Now, all it does is it makes sure that you never get money. It makes sure that you see everything as a scam. Everything doesn't work, right? That's all it does. And what happens? Everything starts to not work. And then you keep wondering, why does this keep happening to me? Life just doesn't like me. No, life is trying to teach you a lesson on finally understanding your subconscious mind, using your conscious mind to train your subconscious mind to give you everything that you want. That's what it's going to take. That was the breakthrough. It took me 12 years to finally understand this. That all it took was finally tapping into my subconscious mind, finally seeing all of the negative programming that I've had, right? My parents telling me, oh, you can't do this and you can't do that. Or money, money doesn't grow on trees. Yeah. If you start to say that, money definitely won't grow on trees. And, and it's, it's obviously not literal, but it's a phrase meaning that money is scarce. Money is not abundant. So all you're going to start thinking about is money's not abundant. Money's hard to get. Money's this, money's that. So what's going to happen? This is why most people are in financial distress. Because they see money as this scarce thing that they can never get enough of. They can never get at will. So all you're going to do is you're going to attract situations that make sure that you're constantly drained of your finances and you never increase your financial, your financial position ever. And you may somehow just luckily break out of that mindset, break, have your subconscious mind do something to help you for a quick second. But because you have so many of these negative thoughts that are constantly pushing at your subconscious mind, it has no choice but to bring all of the negative things right back to you, but to take away all of the things that you've earned to get right back to that baseline that you've trained it to get you to. That, that's, that's financial, right? This is like the mind is the reason why a lot of people aren't making money. Let's keep it a beam, right? That, that generally is the reason. Your mind is telling you that you can't learn that specific skill. So every time that you get into it and you try to learn it, you quit. Your mind is telling, you're telling your mind that, oh, I'm, I'm broke. You keep telling your mind that you're going to keep being broke. You're just going to get even more broke because you're just programming it to believe that. Instead, you should be telling your mind, I'm worthy of money. I, it sounds, it sounds woo, -woo but it's not. Like it, it genuinely, words are spells. Words can literally shape your mind. What you tell yourself, what comes out, what you utter out of your mouth, if you utter it consistently enough, it will happen. If you keep telling yourself, I'm worthy of a beautiful woman who respects me, who's submissive to me because I'm a leader. You're going to get that. You're going to get it effortlessly. Things are going to just start coming up. And then reticular 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 activating system 
that is going to start attracting and you're going to start seeing what you want. You're going to start seeing opportunities to get what you want versus if you were negatively programming it, you're going to be blind to the opportunities that are positive. And you're only going to see all of the negative things that are happening, which is only going to make it worse. If you've ever read the book, Power of Your Sub The Power of Your Subconscious Mind, read that book. Also read the, uh, I was gonna say the reticular activating system, Reality Transurfing, amazing book. It talks about the, the idea of pendulums. Everybody has a narrative, which the narrative is a pendulum, right? The pendulum can either be positive or negative, but it's fueled by both positive and negative emotions. So I'm not going to even continue with explaining this because this is literally just a book that you can go get right now. But read that book. It's going to tell you a lot about how your mind works. It's going to tell you a lot about how society works and how you can start to like program your mind for positivity, program your mind for success. It's real. I used to think it was complete bullshit, which is why it took me 12 years to finally start to get what I want. Right. And another thing, when you start seeing things go backwards, sometimes the reason why you're going backwards is because you're going backwards back to an origin point to finally get to like a better destination that's actually going to be more beneficial to you in the future. So every time that you're moving backwards and you're telling yourself, you're reinforcing that you're this bad person or you can't do this or you suck, you do this. All you're doing is you're just pushing yourself further and further and further and further back. And you're not giving yourself the window of opportunity to see new opportunities in a different angle because now you've activated your reticular activating system right through your subconscious programming of saying that you're worthy of getting those things, that you are a successful person, that success will come to you easily because you are a person who's worthy of success. You're not brainwashing yourself, right? Brainwashing. Why do they call it brainwashing? You're washing your brain, right? And you're giving it new programs. You're washing your subconscious mind. You're giving it new programs, right? New programs to run its software on. That's what you got to understand. That th This is literally what changed my entire life. This is why I can only think positive thoughts. And when I think of negative thoughts, it's like mental warfare. It's always mental warfare in my head. I'm always literally just like mentally just fighting myself, destroying any negative, th any negative thought that pops up, kill, done. Positive thought, boom, slice it, positive thought. I can't do, nope, I can't, right? I always, for, for years, I was like, I can't go fight. I'm going to get hurt. And then, boom, I just cut that negative thought out. And I just thought, like, no, I'm a great fighter. I'm an innate fighter. I can fight. I can learn the skill. I can be really good at it. So I started to learn how to fight, and I'm accelerating faster because I programmed my subconscious mind to believe that I am a fighter. You, have, you understand what I'm saying right now, right? And, and I know it's charging you up and I know you're going to go do these things that I told you. I know you're going to go meditate. I know you're going to go and you're going to start telling your mind throughout the day. You're going to tell your mind positive thoughts. You're going to brainwash yourself into just relentless positivity because that is what we need as men to be able to become the best version of ourselves. Simple, plain and simple. If this helped you, I hope it did. Oh man, what a, what a video. This came straight from the heart, but I appreciate you. And share this with a friend who's, who's mind fucked. They literally just don't know what they're doing. They're lost, whatever. And if you're interested in further coaching with me to help you become the best version of yourself, to master your dark side, to actually stop being a nice guy and start to get what you want in life and start to see yourself in a positive way, start to make more money, start to get more valuable friendships, attract better women, I got you, right? Link is in the description. Tap in with me. One-on-one -on -one strategy call. We'll see if it makes sense to work together. If it makes sense, we will move forward into the mentorship program, but make sure that you're ready to invest in yourself if you want to book a call with me. All right. So I appreciate you and I'll catch you on the next video.